This is the raw material for the subframe for the top. It's two inches uh, thick, you could say, and three inches wide. Um, it's one eighth inch uh, thick rectangular tubing. The longer members of the subframe will be 34 inches long. So I'm getting ready to cut those out of this piece. Uh, the ends, I want to make the ends mitered. I got to make a 45 degree cut um, on all parts. So I made this jig. Uh, what this does is it just sits on here and then I can make my 45 degree mark. I'll transfer it all the way around the tube so I can go ahead and make my cut. I'm going to be making the cut freehand with a grinder, mini grinder and a zip cut blade and just cut through. Okay, I got a little bit to clean up on each cut. Um, these don't have to be 100% perfect. They should be very close to 45 so that the thing goes together correctly. So I'll just grind these off. So I cut it in half like that creates two, two of the bevels that I need. Uh, the top is made up a total of four pieces. And they're going to go together like this. Um, when I'm putting them together, I'm going to have a small gap there uh, to weld. It should go together nice and straight. I'm going to clamp it down to this. This is uh, the metal that will make up the top right here. And I'm going to shim this up nice and flat and level. And I'm going to clamp these members down to it and weld it up from there. Okay. Both of the longer members are, are cut. Now's the time to uh, deburr this edge on all, all of them and then uh, compare the overall length of the two. If they're, you know, if they're wildly different, then you'll have to, you'll have to uh, grind some off to make them close. But these are, uh, <clears throat> these are pretty good. Next, I'll cut the two shorter pieces. Uh, for the sides. Okay, that's all four members cut. The shorter ones for the ends and the longer ones for the front and back. Um, talk again a little bit about this marking gauge. It's just three quarter inch plywood. Um, this piece is the same width as the tubing overall. Uh, this part is the same width as this. It really doesn't matter. Um, I glue it and nail it together and then I cut these angles, which are 45 degrees, the uh, miter saw. Um, there are other ways to cut this. Um, you can get a portable bandsaw type deal or a, a metal cutting bandsaw that will make these cuts. There's also a, a metal cutting chop saw uh, with either an abrasive blade or a tungsten carbide blade. Uh, those ways are, uh, are probably the best and most accurate. Um, I did it this way basically because that's pretty much how I do everything. Um, another thing is to demonstrate that you don't need these big fancy tools to uh, do some of this stuff. Um, all you need to do is uh, go about it in the correct way and um, you'll get it done. Next step is to line it up on the top here and shim that up nice and level so that um, the frame goes together straight and then clamp it down and then I can tack weld all the corners get it ready for the the finished welds. Okay I've got it set up um, 
squared off here. I've got my plate, which is a quarter inch steel plate, leveled up. Um, I shouldn't say level because it's not actually level, it's flat. Um, I got shims added to this end over here to make sure that it's actually flat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack the corners here, uh, move it around, tack that corner, work my way around, just get the thing tacked to the point where I can, I can start to finish welding. I'm just using a flux core wire, 35 thousandths. Alright, that's the subframe all tacked together on the on this side anyway. Uh, I just gotta flip it over and uh, tack it on the other side. I'm gonna take the time now to check it to make sure that it's still uh, flat and square. My square on the inside here. Um, this doesn't have to be. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, uh, it's just a, an assembly table. But the, the more you know, the, the better you make this, the better your end result will be. Um, also, it's good practice if you're going to be doing this kind of thing. Then accuracy is is uh, really something to shoot for. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tack these, and then I can. Uh, uh, start welding. Okay, I'm ready to weld this inside corner. I'm not going to show a whole lot of the welding because I don't have a proper setup for it. Um, I do have an extra number eight shade here that I'll clamp in front of the camera to try to cut down on the uh, on the uh, intensity of the light. What I found before trying to film um, these arcs is that it would uh, it would um, kill the sensor for a few seconds. I don't know if permanent damage is happening, but uh, I'd rather not uh, find out for sure. So I'm just going to weld this inside corner just to give you a, a look at uh, how I do it. Uh, I'm not a welder. I, I can weld reasonably well, uh, basically through practice and some training, but uh, you're going to see you're going to see better welding on, well, just about anywhere. Uh, I just know that I can lay down a bead that's going to be strong, good penetration, and uh, certainly not going to break afterwards. So I'll just attach this lens and we'll get going. Okay, that's it. Um, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Like I say, I'm not I'm not a welder, but I can do a reasonable job. Yeah, the stopping and starting I was doing, you might have noticed, I would I would do a little bit in a circular motion and I would stop. Um, what I was doing is releasing the trigger, um, turning off the wire feed. Uh, that's to let the pool cool a little bit so I won't get so much, I won't get any burn through. Um, I'm running this a bit hot because I want good penetration and, uh, you know, good strength. So uh, I do that, a little circle and I'll release and then dip in again, start it up, a little circle, and release, and so on and so forth right across. And um, it gives me a good weld. 
Okay, to weld the outside corner, I've got the frame um, standing, sitting on the on the ground, tilted up slightly, and bolted onto this table, and so I can be comfortable with the gun as I move across and and finish the weld. So before I get going here, I'm just going to grind this a little bit flatter here. Um, having this too pointy is no good. All right, I'm just going to attach the shade again. Okay, this is it. Um, lost my ground about here and um, had to stop and reconnect it. So that's what that was. Now I'll let this cool a little bit and then I'll grind this off um, half decent smooth. Um, this being on the outside, I'd like for it to look good. So. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, do the other three corners like that. Um, I'll do a little bit of a weld uh, in the middle, on the top and the bottom, uh, on the miters, uh, but that'll be about it. The, the frame will be done.